Okay, so today the boys are gonna get some sausage. We still had some left. We're cleaning up the fridge and we wanna get more space to go and fetch more chicken. Cause we're not really sure when the next time is gonna be that we're gonna go get that chicken. Enzo, Diego, are you guys ready? Well, the other day you ate it all, so let's see. And that's the thing about these two tigers. They are so spoiled that just look at that. <laughs> the, the problem is when the tiger is so spoiled, they don't necessarily just eat anything. They will eat it only if they can justify it. Diego? Is that a nice smile, Diego? Show me that smile again, Diego. Let's go see Enzo. Well, Enzo is still thinking, well, I didn't really order this. <laughs> Come on, Enzo. There's always a little spiciness in the sausage and the tigers don't necessarily like it. So that's why we leave it in the sausage form. <laughs> yeah, the Enzo. <laughs> Because if it's in the sausage form, maybe you won't taste the spices in, so <laughs> he's laughing about it. <laughs> oh, Enzo, is it funny? Is that funny to you? Show me again. Then you won't taste the spices, Enzo. Let's see him laugh. <laughs> Show me. There it is, there is that smile. He's not really hungry, he ate so much yesterday and this morning he ate four chickens. But now Diego is eating on this side. Diego? Let me see. Diego, that was a nice roar. I don't know what it was, but it was a little louder than the previous ones. It's nice, Diego. Do it again. Wow! Again? Wow, Diego. Guys, I have to say, I wish you could feel when he roars like that. I feel like I'm ducking and that power goes over my head. That's what I feel. It's amazing. It's a real adrenaline rush. I once remembered about probably 25 years, 30 years ago, we went to a zoo and there was what we call a roy cat in Afrikaans. It's a, it's a cat that is wild in South Africa, but they're much smaller. They are the size of a, a reasonable sized dog. And that cat started to hiss and do his thing and people couldn't walk past him. And I also went and I wanted to just go up to him but every time he burst into one of those roaring snarling whatever you name it and you would back down all by yourself you don't even think about it your legs just walk in the other direction now i remember that that was nothing compared to diego when he does that I promise you, you will remember that for the rest of your life. And like I said before, a few times people have come after me to my house when they found me at the shopping center or something and I just stop in the driveway and they walk in. And then Enzo comes along and he gives them that growl, roar, snarl, I don't know what you call it. And three times I have had to wake those people up 
they were scared in a sleep they were not able to know what was going on I had to wake them up and tell them to move away it is something to experience that's if you don't expect it and you don't know what's going to happen and it seems like in nature well if a tiger <laughs> would kill someone they will probably put them in that sleep first they won't even know it I don't think they will feel a thing because I've seen I had to wake those people up and they are just walking between <laughs> eating here and there I'm gonna leave them so they can finish their food but yeah tomorrow we're gonna give them chicken again I just want to get rid of all these other types of meat that I have and we'll clean those fridges out and they will eat chicken for the next few months <laughs> now and then we'll have some red meat but not much thanks for watching guys i hope you enjoyed it like always have a great day come on enzo come and eat your food i know now you're not eating but when i look down on this in a couple of minutes it's all gonna be gone i know it